welcome back to another video. You know it's your girl Shani. Happy holidays! Merry Christmas guys and a happy new year when it comes. Guys, please remember to like this video, share this video and comment down below. Let's get into the video. Guys, so today I want to talk about my journey as a pregnant teenager in Jamaica. Come and tell you about it guys. So when I was 19, I got pregnant with my son. He's currently one year old now, just then one in November. So let me tell you about that journey. When I was 19, I was in upper six at the St. Hans High School for girls. Um, I wasn't showing when I got pregnant, right? When I got just got pregnant, I wasn't showing because you know it's a small belly, a small ba baby that at that time. So I got pregnant, I was so scared. I didn't tell anybody, nobody knew. I only tell one person, and that was my child's father. Um, I didn't tell anybody. At the time, my mother traveled overseas, so it was just me and my brother living. I was so scared. I didn't tell her anything about the pregnancy. I struggled with that pregnancy. Every night, I usually cried before going to bed. None of my friends knew. Um, I started wearing some big uniforms. <laughs> Because my uniform were getting tight, so I had to wear my big uniform. Nobody knew, nobody I saw knew. I didn't tell anybody. Guys, I pulled through that exam, those exams, and I passed everything. And I, from then, I knew that this child was a strength. In mind, nobody knew anything. Nobody at all knew anything until I, st I started showing, and I told my one of my aunties and my cousin and then i told i didn't even tell my mother because she traveled so i didn't tell my mother until i was like several six months when i told my mother my mother was so disappointed in me you know a regular mother jamaica mother she was so disappointed in me and i was disappointed in myself i felt like i lot i i I lost everything, like everything that I've worked hard for over the years. I felt that it was lost. I was so disappointed in myself. I was so angry with myself. I was so, I was just so upset with myself. Every night I usually cried before going to bed. So I struggled with that pregnancy alone. And that's when I knew I was very strong and I could do anything that I put my mind to. I did, I carried that baby, I struggled with that baby, didn't know, I didn't have any money to buy clo baby clothes, to buy this, to buy baby stuff, I didn't have any money at all. Um, some of my family members put together, and one of my aunties, Auntie Maureen, big up yourself, Auntie Maureen put together and buy me some things, and some of my other family members put together and buy me some things for my baby. Um, when I told my mother, when I was like six months, she came to Jamaica to help me out. You know, I was so... I, when when my mother saw me, I knew that she felt so bad in herself. But mommy, I know one day I'm going to make her, you proud. And, and thanks for being there for me and you believed in me even though I got pregnant. That my pregnancy guys to be very frank was one of the worst times in my life like physically and mentally i cried every night i felt so so unhappy i was so worried and i usually fret a lot fret a lot like every night i fret every day i would just sit down and and i was fretting for no reason, for nothing. I was fretting about everything, things out of my control. And when, and then my my water broke um, on November the 18th, and I went to the doctor, I went to the hospital by myself, went to the doctor by myself, walked up. If you know Spanish hospital, you know it's a good walking to go to the maternity ward at the back of the hospital. So I walked myself, to the hospital early in the morning around five o'clock in the morning because my water my water broke three o'clock in the morning and I got, I got dressed and washed off bed and went to the delivery room five o'clock in the morning 
and I was sitting there feeling some pain. I mean, while I was walking, my water broke, you know. While I was walking, I was feeling some real wicked pain. And I walked to the delivery room and I delivered that baby. And my mother came and she brought me some things to eat. But you know, you can't eat anything when you're up when your water breaks. So I only thing that I got was to drink some water. And I went into that room and I delivered that baby. When the baby came, the baby was so small. And I started crying because I said that this was my fault because every day I was sitting down and crying and fretting and I made the baby so smart. But thanks be to God, he was very healthy even despite his size, he was very healthy and look at him now, he's a big boy and I'm so happy. I, this story is what gives me strength every day. Guys, I remember persons looking at me and telling me that I will come out to be nothing. I'm no good. I'm this, I'm that. Every type of negativity person speak over my life. But you see, God, he's a God of justice. And he's a God, he's a just God. He's caring and he's very forgiving. Even though persons look at me and tell me I let down my mother. I was a disgrace. I was this, I was that. I still pushed through and I was very determined to get out of that situation. And guys, I worked so hard, so hard. So sometimes it's out of circumstances, young persons get pregnant and they have a um have an unplanned pregnancy because lack of lack of sex education, lack of so many things can contribute to having a child early. And if you have a child early, nothing is wrong with you. You can still go and get a degree. You can still go and get your subject. You can still go and pursue your dreams. Nothing is wrong. Ch children are not holding back anybody right now. Ch instead of our children holding us back, we use our children as motivations to go for what we want. Because we know that they, we don't want them to have the same life that we had growing up. The lack the 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 abuse the this the that we want to, them to have the best life how are we going to make them have the best life by bettering ourselves because it all starts from us when that child have a healthy healthy mother healthy parent one that is um physically uh physically healthy mentally healthy financially healthy and just somebody that is well put together it will make that child be able to excel and be the best version of themselves because they grow up with seeing the best version of their mother and fathers. So they are going to push their best self forward all the time. I'm here to encourage you, no matter what is the circumstances, if you ever didn't get pregnant early or some something came in the way and you feel like you can't achieve your goal, you can achieve your goal no matter what. Because I go through a pregnancy by myself. I was stressed crying, crying every night. Every night I cried and every day I prayed. I prayed and during my pregnancy, I got a relationship with God that is unbreakable. So sometimes we go through a storm. Sometimes we're on a high level and God cut us down. When during the time of cut down, he wants us to get near to him. He wants us to go in his word. He wants us to find him. Because sometimes when we are high and we're too high and mighty, we don't remember who made us high and who was God. When God cut us down, we then we remember who is God and who God is. So sometimes, guys, don't look on life a negative way all the time. If there's something bad you think happens to you in your life, there's always something good that comes from it. Whether you see it now or you see it tomorrow or you see it 10 years, something good always comes from something bad. And don't let the devil trick you and tell you that you can't and you will never come out of your circumstances and you this and you that because the devil comes to seal kill and destroy but the lord comes that we may have life and have it more abundantly abundantly meaning life beyond earthly life abundantly means that we will have everything that we need everything that we want will be at our feet 
every tongue that rises up, rises up against it shall fail, shall be condemned, because he is Lord and he is God. I'm here to encourage you today to stay in the world. When you feel down, when you feel low, stay in the world. Go in the world and remember that God is God. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and he can redeem you. I see all the naysayers and everybody that said you can't, God is going to lift you up because he said in his word, he's going to exalt the humble. And you see the proud, he shall be the base. So guys, don't watch the noise in the background. Focus on the price, which is God and eternal life and salvation. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, big up to myself. Remember to leave a like down below and to comment down what are you struggling if you're struggling with anything and you want to talk about it and you want to pray about it, you can always reach out to me and can comment and we can pray together. Bye, have an amazing year and I hope you enjoy this Christmas.